What's going on guys, it's DJ. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. Now for your Gamma Dose of the J Giants. Today's featured Hulk item is his arch enemy, the Abomination. And this statue is from the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. And the review will be up next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, guys. This is the 2008 Incredible Hulk Abomination statue from the movie. I previously did the other piece of this diorama set, the Incredible Hulk, from yesterday's video with him breaking the cop car apart and turning him into giant fists. This piece, again, I'll go into it quickly. Azubi Toys from Japan. This is the Build-A-Figure Abomination, so I had to buy every single piece to the Incredible Hulk set to build this statue and put it together. And here's what he looks like right now. So here's the Abomination. It doesn't look exactly like Abomination from the comics. This is MCU's version of him originally from 2008. A very grotesque and quite ugly character, in my opinion, which is a good thing because he's a villain and he should be. Now, dealing with this figure, I will show you how he comes originally. So here is what he looks like. Again, as I stated, you get an individual piece per Incredible Hulk statue that I bought. And when you buy all seven statues, you get the Build-A-Figure Abomination. So this is what he looks like, and uh, you have to put them together. I'm going to quickly do a close-up while I have them in pieces. So I'm not going to go into sculpt or detail or anything, but I just want to show you just the brush strokes, the quality of paint, attention to detail in the face. And there's this wet, slimy look to him. If you look at all the crevices, all wet and slimy, like he is not a, a grotesque abomination. Just such detail and the spikes in his back. And has this really nice sparkle effect built into the PVC. So when you see the reflections, you see a little bit of wetness and sparkle to it. Showing this is a special edition statue. Okay, here he is put back together again. We will go into sculpt. So I briefly showed you his face. And just all those bone protrusions sticking out all throughout his back and neck. The director and his choices with all the different muscle striations and kind of grainy, granular muscles. Just very, very different take on these characters and I really like it. And I think these statues bring it out incredibly well. You can see the bones in the hands, again the rib cage, big bone protrusions out of the knees and back of the heels. Just so grotesque. This this is reminiscent to, you know, the Doomsday from the Batman vs Superman movie. They looked very, very similar. Abomination came out first. But again, you know, Doomsday did have his bone protrusions and stuff in the comics way before this. But this is an interesting take. And again, with the new MCU, they went back to a more of a traditional abomination look instead of this grotesque version. So sculpt, I'm going to give this a 9.5. Excellent sculpt. I have several movie abomination statues and figures, and this by far is the most accurate and best sculpted, in my opinion. I think it looks pretty much identical to what he looked like in the movie. So for paint, we're going to go in... Real close and see all the different wetness and brush strokes. And it really looks like, again, granular and like dusty and just really, really good. All the different hues of browns, blacks, have that sparkle effect, the wetness effect. Excellent paint overall. By far the best part is the back, of course. That, look at all those different browns. Almost looks alien-esque there. It's kind of funny. Huge spine protrusions. Looks great from the side. Huge ones on the elbows. Base paint is, you know, pretty much set to match the other Hulk. It's a little bit darker. Concrete goes well with the other Hulk from yesterday's video. So paint overall for this Abomination statue, I'm going to give it a 9.7. I think the paint is excellent. Quality, I'll put it at a 9.6, just like yesterday's video with the Hulk. Excellent quality. You really can't, like, damage these products at all from this company and... I don't see any paint wear. If it fell on the floor, I don't think it would even scuff at all, to be honest. Very, very, very high quality PVC. So overall, with this abomination, 
I'll pair him right up with the Hulk from yesterday. I think it gets a 9-6. I think they go fantastic together. I'll show you in a later video what they look like together. I just want this to be focused on Abomination. But overall, fantastic piece. So hope you enjoyed that Abomination statue from the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. Trying to find this. This is definitely the most rare piece in the entire set because you have to get every single piece in the whole entire Azubi lot to even get a chance to build this Abomination. Fortunate to get the complete set and to build him, and I'm happy to have him in the collection. Pairs incredibly well with the other Hulk from yesterday's video. Buy the entire set to get this, so you're looking at... If I had to guess, five, six hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, plus shipping to try to get this abomination. If you do have it, congratulations. If you guys really love the set, just try to be incredibly patient, and hopefully you'll be able to piece it together over time. And I wish you the best. Please Hulk smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in next week's video. All right, take care, guys. Peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.